So last night about nine o'clock we made a spontaneous decision to come to Norfolk and today we're in Wales next the sea. So it doesn't quite sound right because it should be surely Wales next to the sea. But no, I've checked the maps and checked the street names and it's definitely Wales next the sea. Our day's high wage should always start with a greasy fry up. They were ready for the car. We made a two and a half hour journey to Wales next to sea. When we arrived, we started by going around the town centre, and Alfie could come in too. Wales is very dog friendly, and many shops allow dogs in. As you can see, a lot of them were taking COVID precautions, however. I don't know about you, but cream tea and fizz on the go on the beach sounds like a perfect idea. Can you see the little spaniel in the harbour? He looks so cute. Are you a fan of cockles or mussels on the beach? I definitely am. After spending time in the town centre, we made our way to the beach. It's about a mile from the town centre and there's a long flat path that you can use. As you can see here, Alfie definitely loves the beach. Just look at him go. Dig, 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 dig. Dig, dig, dig is definitely his favourite command on the beach. How cute is that paw? One thing Wales is famous for are its amazing beaches. This one with the Union Jack was definitely my favourite. We were starting to get hungry and the quickest way back to the town centre is by using the Wales Harbour Railway. This is a small railway that runs about three quarters of a mile and takes probably about five or ten minutes. It's only £1.50 each and it's well worth the ride. Oh, and dogs are allowed to. It also means you can get to the fish and chip shop a lot quicker than by on foot. We had to wait a little while in the socially distanced queue for our chips, but they were definitely worth the wait, and all three of us enjoyed them. The final stop on our road trip was Clay next to the sea. It's home to this wonderful windmill, and it's about 15 miles from Wales, but it's well worth the visit. I'm going to drop a few photos now from our day. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and also check out my other social media channels, at Nomad.